Hi, we're going to look at the ifs function as opposed to the if function. Now, ifs is available in Office 365 from Excel 2016 onwards. And um, it kind of replaces the need to use a nested if um, where you need more than two possible results from your if function, more than a value of true and a value of false. So our scenario is where we simply just want to change these colours. So all the blues need to become purples, all the reds need to become greens, but the other colours need to stay as they are. So let's get started with our ifs. So the first two arguments are logical test one and value if true one. You'll then get logical test two, value if true two, logical test three, value if true three, so on and so on and you can have a maximum of 127 tests. Now, uh, our first test in this scenario is gonna be, does the value in column A equal blue? Which I need to fix. So I'll be copying the formula down. So that's my first test, comma. And the value of true for that is going to be purple. So I'm gonna change the blues to purple, so I need to fix that reference, comma. Then I've got my logical test two. So my logical test two will be, does uh, the value in column A equal red, which I'd need to fix, if true, uh, make it green. So if the, what, what the ifs does is it, it keeps going through the test until it gets to one that returns true. Um, now, if I just left it like this, let me just close the bracket there and copy it down. What you'll see is, is that if the ifs comes, uh, if the ifs function meets a scenario where none of the tests are met, it returns the NA area error. So you can see that's true for yellow, brown, uh, or pink. Now what you can do very helpfully with the ifs function is give a, a value that you want to return if none of the tests meet true, none of the tests return true. Now to do that, what you do is in the very last logical test that you're gonna specify, so that'll be logical test three in our scenario, you're gonna write true as your logical test. Then you give the result you want to specify for uh, that particular particular logical test. So in other words, you're saying, if none of the other tests are met, I want to return the original color. So if I then copy this down, it provides a solution for us. Okay, so the new is function, uh, very, very useful, much simpler than writing a nested ifs, a nested if function. And you have that nice little option at the end for giving kind of like a default value. If none of the other tests are met, this is what you're going to return. Thanks very much for listening and I hope you found that useful.